Today we're talking all about the small Vita tote from Danny Dover. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole, and on this channel we talk about everything from product reviews, bag reviews, and much more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. If you are a subscriber, don't forget to click that little notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos are posted. Today is a really fun video because it's a collaboration with my friend Ashley over at Gator Mom. If you don't already know Ashley, she is the sweetest human. <laughs> She's a mama to three kiddos, and her kiddos are a little bit older than mine, which is why I love collaborating with her because whether you have younger kiddos like mine or older like hers, we got you covered. <laughs> um, she also has a ton of bag reviews over on her channel, so if there's something that you're looking for, you'll definitely be sure to find it there. Go check her out and subscribe while you're there. Today we're gonna take a look at the Small Vita Tote from Danny Dover. I recently unboxed this as part of their summer collection, and I'll link that up here. But I um, this is <laughs> but this is in their brand new material, which is an organic cotton canvas. Um, I've been using this for a couple of weeks now for my three kids that are seven, five, and two. And I'm gonna show you today how I have it all packed up. So let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm gonna start with the straps. These are my favorite. There is a long set of straps here which you can toss over your shoulder, no problem. But then there's also a short set of straps that you can just grab and go, which I find really helpful in a tote this size. The Vita tote has four pockets along the outside of the bag. In this pocket, I have a flat package of Kleenex. And I think that's it, yeah. Next to it, I have my cell phone. And I think a hair tie. <laughs> yep. All right, so let me go ahead and turn the bag around. Over on the back of the bag, I have my med kit in this back pocket. And this is from 12 Little, and it's going to have all of my med supplies in it, like sprayable neosporin, my bug bite thing, thieves, my Me For Kids med kit contents are emptied out in there, all kinds of stuff. You can see just how substantial that pocket is. It actually wraps all the way around to the side of the bag. Um, in the next pocket, I have my portable charger for my cell phone. And then I also have my fan. And guys, it is no less than 1 million degrees in Texas right now. I'm using it as I talk. Um, and this little fan is a lifesaver. So. I have that in that pocket also. Right, in this little slip pocket, you can put your cell phone, but I actually have been putting my hand sanitizer. And this is Touchland hand sanitizer in the smell, or in the scent watermelon, and it's probably my favorite. I love it. Okay, so that is the outside of the bag. As we take a look inside, let me kind of tip the camera forward so we can get a good bird's eye view. Let me grab my keys right off top. Um, I did want to show you on my key ring because it has so much. I have my Oventure key ring and I also have my no touch tool from Oventure and then my little fob that has my AirPods inside. I often get asked what's on my key ring, so there you go. Did you ever think we'd have a no touch tool? Like before 2020, what did that even mean, right? All right, so next, the first thing I'll grab out of here is the Oventure silicone pouch in the cheetah print. Looks like that. Um, I just love this print. I also have a hot pink one, um, and they also make a turquoise, and it's just great for summertime. Next is my daughter's sippy cup. We've been testing this one out. I have mixed reviews on it, honestly. It's pretty good, but if air gets trapped, it does kind of spill out of the top when you open it, so be advised. The next thing I have in here is my Gobi snack spinner. My kiddos just ate everything out of it. I do <laughs> have a full review on this that I can link. So that way you guys can check out how it works. It's really cool. You push the button, cycles through the snacks, and then your kiddo just, just lifts the little window right there. Next, I have my MZ Wallace tie-dye case. And um, these pouches from MZ Wallace go in and out of stock. I posted a full video review of these pouches, or of this pouch, and um, I'll link that also. But on one side, I have all of our COVID supplies. So I have masks, I have a hairbrush, I have my little soap sheets. Um, if we need to wash our hands while we're out. And then I have my Mama hand cream from Tuppy Todd, which is like my ride or die absolute favorite. And then on the other side of the pouch, in this section I have activity cases. So I have a little Crayola activity case, I have a little boogie board, and then I also have some like little mini play packs. All right, now you can kind of take a look inside. That is the interior space that you have available. It has a key leash that has my lippy clip on it. 
Yay! Um, this key leash is not is not elastic like the other ones. Like it doesn't stretch at all. It's made of the same material. Um, in this little slip pocket, I have my Mina Bay wallet. This is in the color nude. It looks like it was made for that pocket. I'm not even exaggerating. And in the pocket next to it, I have two pens, and I have another hand sanitizer <laughs> from Dutchland, and a lip gloss. Also on this side, I wanted to show you, is a zippered pocket. And this zippered pocket opens just like this, and I have in here just more lip products, another lip gloss. You can't have too many lip glosses, you guys know this about me. Um, on the other side of the bag, you'll see that little snap over there. That's because there is a neoprene sleeve that snaps right into that that you can use to hold drinks. Let me go ahead and snap it in for you so you can see. So I went ahead and I attached the neoprene sleeve. I kind of snapped it in there so you could see. You can also just remove it, kind of unsnap so you can take it out if you'd like. On the opposite side, there is a Velcro pocket. And when you open this, I just have my um, little MZ Wallace pouch that comes with their bags. And in here, I have potty training stuff. Uh, my daughter is fully potty trained, but it doesn't hurt to have stuff on the go, if you know what I mean, as a mom. You always have wipes, right? Wipes, I have a wet bag. Um, I also have bug spray. Let me kind of move the bag and I'll show you guys real quick. So I have my 12 little mouse and this has inside of it potty covers, my post-its to cover the sensors on the automatic flush toilets. Then also in here I have two Think Baby sunscreen sticks. I also have my Badger um, bug spray. We love this stuff guys. I'll make sure to link all of this below. And then I have a little tube of all over ointment from Tubby Todd, which is great for literally everything, especially eczema or dry patches. And that's it. That's what I have in that little bag. Here is a quick look of the bag completely empty. Just so you have a look at it there. And then I'm gonna grab the large tote and pop it right next door to it so you can see what they look like in the size differences as well. I can also put um, a photo on of me wearing both so you can see what the differences are. Okay, so here's a quick look at what the large and the small tote look like right next to each other. Both have those that long strap drop and the tote handles. Let me go ahead and turn them to the side so you can get a side view. Of course, my small is all packed up. There's a quick look at the side. You can see the height difference there. Um, the large bag is substantially larger in my opinion. I've used both. I've used the large bag as like a pool bag and um, Here's a look in there. But there's a quick look at what they look like right next to each other. All right guys, so that is it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know in the comment box down below um, which Vita Tote is your favorite. And be sure to go check out Ashley's channel. I will see all of you guys again in my next one.